It's safe to say Forza Motorsport has been in development for a long time. In fact it's been nearly 3 years since the game was first announced and we are only just now getting close to release. We now know more details about the career mode, editions of the game and most importantly the release date. And so I'm Mark from Racing Games and here's an updated everything you need to know about Forza Motorsport. Let's start off with everything we know about Forza Motorsport's career mode. Recent racing games have just thrown cars at players, with Forza Horizon 5 and Gran Turismo 7 arguably the biggest culprits. Forza Motorsport on the other hand is promising true progression and with that the earning of cars and upgrades rather than being handed them through early game rewards, wheel spins or roulette tickets. The Builders Cup is the core career mode of Forza Motorsport, made up of a huge amount of events for car classes and individual styles of car. Each race has three elements, open practice, challenge the grid and feature race. This will give everyone the chance to get into a car and build a level of confidence and connection with each vehicle. Open practice offers the chance to learn your car. Each corner will provide a challenge, rewarding you with car XP every time you go faster through a corner until you reach the limit. Upgrading cars is always a crucial part of a racing game in the Simcade world that Forza Motorsport inhabits, although Forza will do things a little differently than previous games. You won't be spending credits on upgrades, instead spending your earned car points. With a maximum car level cap of 50, there aren't infinite car points to earn, but that's not an issue as you can return parts and get your points back to then spend on other parts. It should make for a game that has infinitely adjustable and changeable cars. With PI returning, you will have plenty of ways to build up to a PI limit, allowing you to build cars the way you want over and over again. Once you've built your car, it's time to take it to the track and pick up those precious wins. That's what the game is all about after all. You'll be able to feel the improvements, grow your car level even more and of course create an even deeper bond with your vehicle now that you are winning races. Challenge the Grid lets you earn credits through a completely customizable race. You can pick everything from your starting grid slot to your opponent's speed and simulation rules. This comes with a reward slider where you can earn more from winning from a lower grid slot. This replaces the old system where your assists would determine your rewards and instead lets you just go racing at your own level and rewards everyone the same from going from 5th to 1st regardless of whether or not they had any assists. Forza Motorsport will let you have a fully customizable experience in career mode. You can have penalties on or off and the same goes for damage and even things like fuel and tyre wear. Full simulation rules are there if you want them but you don't have to use any of them. This degree of customization is excellent to see and should make Forza Motorsport accessible to all skill levels even as they aim for more realistic physics and handling. Career mode will reflect the ever changing landscape of car releases. New cars and tracks will be released directly into the career mode with the builders cup evolving with those changes. So career mode looks promising but there is just one tiny little bump in the road. Forza Motorsport has been confirmed to require a constant online connection to be able to progress through the game. Much like Gran Turismo 7, this has caused some ripples throughout the community. The danger with forcing online connectivity is eventually the servers will be shut down, effectively locking players out of their career saves. This might not happen for a few years after release, but when licenses expire and player numbers drop, it'll only be a matter of time. The good side to Always Online though is the fact new content can be constantly added to career mode, including cars, tracks and race modes. Speaking of cars, we now know over 500 cars will be available to drive from launch, including the number one Cadillac Racing V Series R and 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray cover cars. We also know that Circuit de Spa Francorchamps and Circuit de 24 Heures de Monde will be joining the likes of Laguna Seca, Maple Valley and Virginia International Raceway on the track list. So there are lots of cars to take for a spin and a wide range of circuits to take them for a spin on. Last but not least, we finally know when you'll be able to get your hands on Forza Motorsport. Those buying the standard edition of the game can hit the track from the 10th of October, whereas those pre-ordering the premium edition can get started 5 days earlier on the 5th of October. As well as early access, the premium edition also includes the race day car pack DLC, car pass, VIP membership and welcome pack. There's also a deluxe edition that although it doesn't come with early access, still rewards players with the obligatory car pass. October might seem like a long way away, but now we know the release date, are you looking forward to hitting the track in Forza Motorsport? Are you worried about the always online requirement? And what do you make of the track and car lists? Let us know down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel while you're there for all things Forza Motorsport. For now though, thanks for watching. I've been Mark from Racing Games and we'll catch you here on the channel for another video soon.